Friends, Preparation was amazing. Everything went perfect. Weight cut is even better than we thought. <laughs> we still have a lot of energy. So, I mean, it's, it's incredible how, how everything is going so smooth and good. Yep. I respect and I know Gilbert's journey in the Jiu Jitsu. You know, we actually been competing against each other back in the days. And now he's facing one guy that it's my student. And if it goes to the ground, we're ready to deal with whatever it comes. You know, we're ready 100%. <laughs> I met Mackenzie, I, I, I could see her athleticism. She really is a good athlete. She's got a good natural rhythm. You know, she's got good natural speed. You know, she's got natural power. She's got, she got a lot of natural things for, you know, a 115 pound girl. Getting to the highest level in anything, there's a, there's a foundation that you build and you develop to get to the highest level. For me, Mackenzie's learning curve is better than the average Joe Blow because of the level of jiu-jitsu she's at. I want my arm! <laughs> Oh, no, I prefer my arm to my neck. We're trying to build a foundation. We're, we're working on the basics. She realizes how important that is because that's the only place that she's going to be able to add layers to her game. After I get this win, I don't know, it depends. You know, I'm playing everything by year, so definitely depends on how I go in this fight, like how I win. I'm not in a rush to get to the belt, you know, I really want to make sure I'm ready. The top five girls, you know, they, they all have fights coming up and see what opportunities come next, but definitely just keep the process of getting better. Good job. Feeling good, man. Feeling really good, especially for what? We're getting close now. Getting close to weigh-ins and that, but still feeling fresh, full of energy. Keep it rolling, baby. Definitely feel like this is the time to fight, which is how you want to feel. That's why we have these uh, sessions so late, because you want it, you know, the body clock to be like, all right, it's go time. I always feel confident with the, the way the boys train and how they go about their business. But, you know, we ran into them, we knew it was going to be sooner or later. It was casual. They chatted, they said hello to each other. You know what you want? You want to come size me up, and then he felt my back like this. He's like, fuck, that's hard as rock. He bailed straight away. <laughs> At this level, it's just about, it's all respectful. They both know what they want to do. Um, you know, he's trying to take it, and Bob's going to defend it. You know, five weeks, you know, it's got such a positive energy, and yeah, the boys, you know, feed off it, and you know, so does Volks, and uh, that's what we're here to do, you know, just have a bit of fun. We're not going to take it too serious till fight day, and then we'll unleash the Volks <laughs> and see what happens. Right 
Jacksonville, Florida. Great to be with you. Good to be back here in Duval County. I'm John Anik. Thank you all for coming out today. Who has the first question? Let's go. Alex, obviously your last couple fights have been over former champions, so I'm curious as you build your legacy, what does a win over him mean for you in, in terms of building your legacy? Uh, first off, I just want to say, what's up, Jacksonville? Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I believe in my abilities, and I expect to, you know, I've got a lot of goals. I want that GOAT status. I want, you know, pound for pound. I want greatest of all time. I want all that type of stuff. My work ethic, my mentality will get me there, but I've still got a lot of work to do. And for the Korean Zombie, please, what type of strategy and fight you're expecting from him? Do you think he'll be willing to stand and trade with you, or are you expecting a kind of a grappling heavy matchup? Questions for Aljo. Two days from right now, the talking stops, and you guys are going to get in there and fight. Oh, 100%. I finally get to shut this motherfucker up, and it is going to be so sweet. Piotr, what is it like to get the crowd reaction? You seem to be the fan favorite here in Jacksonville in this fight. Hello, guys. Я думаю, что здесь собрались реальные болельщики, и они знают, кто реальный чемпион здесь. Зак не сука! Oh, you don't like that. You don't like that, do you? You're about to be 0-2, baby. 0-2. Oh. Last thing. Aljo, what's the headline going to read on Saturday? Aljamain so Sterling shocks the crowd and silences the noise. Guaranteed. Bet your motherfucking money. Put your money up. You guys are going to be rich. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. This is a question for Hamzat. Hamzat. I saw that you bumped into Gilbert in the hotel last night. I'm curious, were you able to take anything out of that meeting? Hey, I'm gonna smash that guy, knock him out one minute, guys. I promise you. It's too little, boy. Let's do it. Can't wait. Scary. Scared, boy, you know. And I said to him yesterday, show his power. And he turned around, you know. I was there. <laughs> I'm going to kill this guy tomorrow. I'm going to smash him. Translator, please. Mr. Burns, you, even though you are the second ranked welterweight, you are still the underdog. What's your comment on being the underdog? Of course, he's underdog. Oh, King is yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Oh, he said, oh, he's mad. Yeah, oh, fuck your ass. He hit the table. The fuck? See you Saturday, buddy. Right, we got to get on out of here. Thank you all for coming out to the press conference. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's give the crowd what they want. I want to do a face off with a zombie if we can do that. Let's go. Come on, come on. Soon. So, 